one of the things as a manual wheelchair user that you run into, whether you're a paraplegic or a quadriplegic, is shoulder issues. You're constantly putting a strain doing this repetitive motion, so you get repetitive stress from pushing a wheelchair every day. Um, also, for me, I have limited use of my arms, so I'm overcompensating with some muscles. One of the things I found that has been really helpful in my life is power assist wheels. Right now, this chair that I'm in, the Colors Razor Blade, it has these wheels, which are called Emotion Wheels, that have adapted to it. So I've mounted these onto the Colors wheelchair frame, and there's a battery, a central battery right here. I'm able to turn this on, and off. So right now, I've just turned it on. And rather than being operated by a joystick, it's operated by pushing on the rim. So when I push on the rim, even though I don't have the hands of a paraplegic, just that little bit of pressure makes a difference. So I'm able to have that on both sides. I can have it on the most basic setting, which is what it's on right now, or I can actually turn it up and now it's got more power to go up hills, to go through grass, through gravel, and not only that, but I don't really have to do too much to it in order to make it move. With widgets, within the hub, you have one to two gearing, which means for every push, I go twice as far. I also have built-in braking, and that's where I change between forward and reverse. Traditional wheelchair use, if you're going uphill, you really lean forward, and that's what the physical therapists hate to see you do. So using the widgets, I can just push against the back of that chair and keep my good upright posture, using my good large muscle groups, using my shoulders in the correct manner that a physical therapist would like. And using the widgets for mechanical advantage, leverage, and gearing to reduce the energy and increase my travel. They're also a tremendous benefit purely from an exercise standpoint. The widgets simply go into forward and propel. Another big benefit of the widgets over traditional wheelchair propulsion, if you notice my upright posture, I'm not bending over at all. I'm staying in a good upright posture and having uh, anatomically correct. I can also go backwards, use my brakes, <laughs> and going forward, brakes, and then going forward, pivot in space if desired. My friend Patrick Tolino He's a C56 quad, and he designed this in his garage uh, because he was just frustrated with some of the uh, aftermarket uh, accessories that were out there, and he thought that this would be a great uh, device for himself. So this is how you mount to the ZX1. It's very simple. What you'll do is you'll just pull up with your chair. You'll just back up over the wheels, pull back on the stick, clamps to the axle, then you're... Uh, chair becomes a, uh, immediately a power chair. So it's something that uh, gives you the ability to have a manual chair or a power chair all in one. It's called the natural fit hand rim. So it actually lets your thumb go right into here, which usually this would be like an empty space. You can actually really grab it and push it. Um, so you're not there then sometimes like grabbing your wheel to get that good grip and then you grab the wheel which is disgustingly dirty and then your hands are dirty. So the natural fit makes pushing really easy. Um, so I definitely recommend natural fit hand rims. Spinergy has a patent on the uh, flex rim which is a very special unique rim that uh, is vulcanized to the, rim it's, to the rim itself, the push ring. It allows it to flex, so if there's a doorway that's a little bit tight or if you hit a door jam or furniture, the push ring is gonna flex in a little bit so uh, to keep it from damaging uh, doorways and stuff like that. For both everyday chairs and sports chairs, different spoke options, uh, different colors. Energy's PBO spoke technology is one-third the weight, twice as strong as steel. These front casters are frog legs. And what they've got is just a little bit of cushion, a little bit of give right there, so that when I'm rolling through rough terrain, 
grass or rocks, anything like that, what they'll do is they'll absorb some of that um, friction and some of that power. And it also just makes for a smoother ride. And it looks cool. You got frog legs. This wheel lock is, is our, our, our small composite wheel lock. It's very lightweight and take less effort to, to lock in. And it springs back, so it's real efficient and real easy to do. And if you notice, it gets out of your way. So if you're pushing, you're not going to hit your thumb inside that area. So it just takes a little bit of effort and a little bit of force, and it flips right back out. Armrests are another accessory, I think. For some people, it is a comfort. It's nice to be able to have a place to rest. For other people, it serves a, a function of keeping them in their chair. If I fall to the right, I've got an armrest right here that's going to help me get back up. So there's a number of reasons I think that people use accessories like the casters that they choose or whether or not to have armrests. It depends on the person and what, is, uh, what service that device is going to provide. Balance is a huge issue. Um, for instance, if I lean too far backwards, well, there might be a chance that I could fall backwards and get a head injury, which none of us really want. <laughs> we're, we're, we're good, no matter how disabled you are, I think you don't want to become more disabled. That's the one plan that we all have. That's the one thing we all have in common, don't get more disabled. So I've gotten tip bars on my chair. Some people don't want them, but I prefer them especially when you got power assist wheels. That just kept me from uh, falling back on my head. Handlebars is another issue, that it is an accessory. Handlebars are used primarily if someone else is going to push you, or at least that's what people believe. However, for someone like myself who's a quadriplegic, the handlebars actually serve a secondary function. Um, to be able to put my arm right here and lean forward. I don't have good trunk control, so this allows me to then maintain my balance. And there's quite a few quadriplegics that do that. We like to call ourselves hookers because we hook our elbow and uh, it just gives us a little bit more independence, a little bit more um, trunk control and just stability in general. Um, also, another thing that is helpful about handlebars. For instance, for me, I'm in a band, so my band is able to lift me up onto stages, to be able to go upstairs, things like that. You can actually have four people, one on each handlebar, one on each front part of the frame, and it just makes lifting someone who happens to be in a wheelchair a lot easier. Brought to you by the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation and Gold Pictures.